Hi everyone, thanks for clicking and welcome back again to my channel. This is the uh, second part of the iCare flight plan video. We'll pick up from where we left off in the last video. And if you haven't yet watched the first part, I recommend you go back, watch the first part, uh, the link to which is in the description box below. Okay? So item 19, uh, this section is primarily for a search and rescue. Should there be a crash, God forbid, or ditching in the uh, water, rescue team will have an idea about the total souls um, on board, survivor equipment on board, also the total fuel on board. Um, this is crucial as it helps to narrow down the search radius. So um, let's get uh, right to it. First, the endurance, which is the total fuel on board. This is the takeoff fuel, okay? including any uh, reserve, extra fuel, contingency, this is the fuel that you take off with. So the total for which, in hours and minutes, you put it in here. Next, persons on board. Again, total including flight deck crew, cabin crew, passenger, everyone. Emergency radios. Here you mention any handheld um, radios, whether VHF, UHF, if any. If not, you cross up the ones you don't have. Uh, next, the ELT, which stands for Emergency Locator Transmitter. Most today's uh, aircraft comes with a built-in ELT, which is activated automatically when the aircraft experiences a certain amount of G-force, with other words, a crash. Next, survival equipment. Should your aircraft be equipped with um, a polar or desert, maritime, jungle survival equipment, you leave them. If not, you just cross them out. Jackets, like the ones shown on the screen right now in front of you. Some jackets are sophisticated that come with a, a light, which helps to be easily spotted during the dark. Also, fluoros is a type of uh, reflective stripes on the jacket. It's, uh, it's that which reflects any light directed at them. Um, in today's modern world, some jackets even do come with the uh, UHF or VHF radio. So basically, you leave what you have and cross out what you don't. And uh, I hope you already know what uh, equipment are on your aircraft. Next, dinghies. Dinghies are like uh, life rafts. Usually only big aircraft and those that fly uh, over water must be equipped with dinghies. And uh, here you mentioned the number of dinghies and the capacity meaning how many persons each dinghy is able to hold or carry. Okay, uh, C, or cover, some dinghies come with a cover, like the one shown on the screen right now. And the color is pretty straightforward, you just mentioned the color of your dinghies. Okay, next, uh, the aircraft color and markings. Again, straightforward, no codes are required here, just type in your um, aircraft color in plain text. Okay, the remark section, uh, should you have any additional remarks, uh, here is where you insert them. And last but not least, the pilot and command phone name. And also here you mentioned uh, the name or the uh, authority or perhaps the company uh, that filed this flight plan. Normally uh, it would be uh, by flight ops or dispatcher if you work for an airline. Uh, if you don't and you have your own um, airplane, you just put in your, uh, your full name here. And then it's accepted by in any additional re, uh, um, information such as uh, your email address or phone number and so on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, how you fill out an IK flight plan. If you think I have missed anything or in case you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys. And until the next video, see ya and thanks for watching.